Unit 731 was a secret Japanese research unit during World War II that conducted horrific experiments on living humans. They performed vivisections without anesthesia, meaning they cut people open while they were still alive and conscious to study their organs. Prisoners were infected with diseases like plague, cholera, and anthrax to observe the progression. They froze limbs to study frostbite, then thawed them in various ways. Some victims had limbs amputated and reattached to different parts of their bodies. They tested grenades and flamethrowers on live subjects tied to stakes. This one's high on the list because the experiments were designed to maximize suffering while gathering data with absolutely no regard for human life. The Stanford Prison Experiment from 1971 involved college students randomly assigned to be either prisoners or guards in a mock prison. What started as a two-week study had to be stopped after just six days because the guards became so sadistic and the prisoners so traumatized. Guards forced prisoners to do degrading acts, deprived them of sleep, and psychologically tortured them. Some prisoners had mental breakdowns. The lead researcher himself got so absorbed in his role as prison superintendent that he lost sight of the harm being done. This wasn't physically painful like others on this list, but it showed how quickly ordinary people can become monsters when given power over others. The Monster Study. In 1939, researchers at the University of Iowa conducted a stuttering experiment on orphaned children. They divided kids into two groups. One group received positive speech therapy and encouragement. The other group, which included children who didn't even stutter, received negative therapy, where they were belittled, told they were stuttering even when they weren't, and made to feel ashamed of their speech. The children in the negative group developed lifelong psychological problems, speech issues, and trauma. Some never spoke normally again. The researchers knew this was harmful, but did it anyway to prove a theory. The university kept this study hidden for decades because of how unethical it was. The Tuskegee Syphilis Study. Starting in 1932, the U.S. Public Health Service told 600 poor black men in Alabama that they were receiving free health care. In reality, 399 of them had syphilis and were being studied to see what the disease would do if left completely untreated. Even after penicillin became the standard cure for syphilis in 1947, these men were deliberately denied treatment. The study continued for 40 years until 1972. Many of the men died from syphilis, went blind, or went insane. Their wives got infected. Their children were born with congenital syphilis. The men were lied to the entire time, thinking they were being treated for bad blood. This ranks high because it was systematic deception and denial of life-saving treatment over decades. Project MK Ultra. The CIA's mind control program ran from the 1950s to the 1970s and involved dosing people with LSD and other drugs without their knowledge or consent. They tested on prisoners, mental patients, prostitutes, and even their own agents. One scientist was secretly given LSD by his colleagues and jumped out of a window to his death days later. They tried to find ways to control people's minds, erase memories, and create programmable assassins. Many subjects developed permanent psychological damage. The CIA destroyed most of the records, so we'll never know the full extent of what they did. Experiments were conducted in universities, hospitals, and prisons across North America, often on vulnerable people who couldn't fight back. Nazi hypothermia experiments. Nazi doctors at Daokayo concentration camp conducted freezing experiments on prisoners to help German pilots who crashed in cold water. Victims were forced into tanks of ice water for up to five hours or left naked outside in freezing weather. Doctors monitored how long it took them to die or lose consciousness. Some victims were rewarmed in different methods, including being placed naked with naked women, which was another layer of humiliation. Most subjects died during the experiments. The few who survived suffered permanent tissue damage and psychological trauma. These experiments were supposedly scientific, but were really just excuses to torture people to death. Guatemalan syphilis experiments. Between 1946 and 1948, U.S. doctors deliberately infected nearly 1,500 Guatemalan prisoners, soldiers, mental patients, and prostitutes with syphilis and gonorrhea without their informed consent. This was done to study how penicillin could prevent infection. When deliberately exposing people to infected prostitutes didn't work fast enough, doctors directly inoculated subjects by pouring bacteria onto wounds or scraping their genitals. At least 83 people died. Unlike Tuskegee, where treatment was withheld, this involved actively infecting healthy people. The U.S. government kept this secret until 2010, when a researcher accidentally discovered documents in an archive. The Aversion Project. During South African apartheid from 1971 to 1989, the military conducted a program to cure homosexuality. Gay and lesbian soldiers were subjected to chemical castration, electric shock treatment, and hormone therapy. 
When these failed, some victims were forced to undergo gender reassignment surgery performed by military doctors. The surgeries were crude and irreversible. Subjects were then discharged and left to deal with the physical and psychological consequences alone. An estimated 900 people were subjected to these procedures. Many committed suicide afterwards. This was state-sanctioned torture disguised as medical treatment.